right, Night Riders. So I am here to give you a breakdown of the official trailer number two of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Let's just jump straight into this, all right? So I'm going to go through what I think is important scenes because there's certain things about this trailer that I feel as though we kind of need to talk about, all right? So this first scene, Clark Kent meeting Bruce Wayne for the very first time. Uh, and it was pretty funny because Clark literally wasted little to no time <laughs> bringing up the whole Batman vigilante thing in Gotham. Which actually leads to this picture right here. Bruce Wayne with his smirk. <laughs> to me this was hilarious because he gave that, it was that kind of smirk that was like, yeah, I've been waiting for a member of the Daily Planet to ask me about somebody that's above the law <laughs> when you guys have this alien that pretty much does what he wants and has the ability to burn down the entire place. Now also, I'm going to go back to, to the first picture. I want to bring something up. Thanks to my boy, Lemuel Sonnevel. I know that in this scene, Diana Prince is actually within the crowd. Um, the only reason I don't have arrows pointing at to where it is is because I, I, I really couldn't find it. <laughs> and granted, he shows it in his review of the trailer. So if you guys want to actually check it out and see where she is, check out Lemuel Sonnevel. Um I don't know how the hell he spotted it. But he spotted it, and I've done watch this trailer probably a couple hundred times. <laughs> and like I told you guys, I'm going to watch this trailer for each and every subscriber that I have. So I'm on my way. <laughs> the next scene, when Lex Luthor came and met Clark Kent. And the reason I said met Clark Kent and not Bruce Wayne is because just their interaction, it seemed like they already knew one another. Because even though he shook Bruce's hand, Bruce was like, Lex. Like, they already knew each other. It wasn't like a, hello, I'm Lex. You know, kind of like what Lex did with Clark. He shook Clark's hand and was like, hi, I'm Lex Luthor. Now, a lot of people don't like Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. The truth of the matter is, he's just going to play a different Lex Luthor. Yes, I know he's not the portrayal of Lex that we already had. But, I honestly still believe he's going to do a good great job in this role. He's more like the the pompous, arrogant kind of billionaire. Kind of like when he first showed up in the scene, he was like that high pitch, boys, <laughs> you know? So he's he's just different. And I think, I, I honestly think he's going to do a good job. Next scene. The reason I picked this scene is because it just shows that they're going to show the ending fight with Zod and Superman from a different angle. Now we're seeing those events from Bruce's perspective. Bruce can see the whole thing. Now this next photo, oh wait, I missed. There we go. Is Superman and Zod from the first movie when it's coming back down from space before they crash into, I guess, what's supposed to be Grand Central. I've seen a lot of reactors didn't know who that was. My guess is, is that it's just Bruce's perspective from the fight again, just basically from his angle, which I honestly think is pretty awesome that they're doing that. They're showing you like, yo, Bruce is in Metropolis. This is how he saw the fight. This is why he feels the way he feels. And I love the fact that they're doing that. Next photo. Okay, I chose this photo for the simple fact that the, that the metallic armor that Batman is using in this movie to fight Superman looks so badass. It's straight out of the Dark Knight uh, Returns comic book. Like that's the armor, the, the, the white glowing eyes and everything. And it just looks so badass. I just had to, to throw that out there. Next photo. Damn it, I keep missing. Okay, so I brought this photo up basically just to show like Superman is just taking 
hits from with how the trailer was portrayed. It looks like Batman was in his Batwing shooting Superman and, you know, he's blocking the, the bullets. I don't know if they're hurting him in this scene or what, but he's pretty much just like blocking him. And it, it also seems like the bullets are pushing him back a little bit, which brings me to this next scene. Him floating in the air, taking the bullets with zero damage. I don't know if it's the same scene, but hes it's like he's not even feeling it. He's just floating, and they're literally just bouncing off of him, and he's not even feeling it. But compared to the last picture I just showed you guys, where he was taking hits from the bullets, but it looked like it was pushing him back, and he was trying to deflect it. This next photo. Let's just bask in the glory of how epic this photo is. My man is just got the glowing red eyes, heat vision ready, okay? Like, I gotta do that again because the sound effect didn't happen. There we go, heat vision ready. <laughs> All right, next photo again, heat vision ready. That It's just two badass photos that I just wanted to take the time to, to, to show you guys and to just bask in his ultimate glory. <laughs> All right, next photo. This is for you Batman fans. I will let you take the time to bask in the glory of Batman punching the shit out of Superman against the wall. Now, I couldn't find the initial photo or the scene where it looked like he drew blood, but if you watch the trailer carefully, it almost looks like he drew blood. So maybe this is the part where he gets exposed to kryptonite some way, somehow. Maybe there's kryptonite embedded in the suit. I really don't know. Next photo. Now, I brought this photo up because it has a lot of people have been bitching and moaning about how it looks like Superman took over the world, that it's a dream sequence, a nightmare sequence. It has been officially confirmed that this right here is a nightmare sequence. Okay? Bruce has a basically a dream or a nightmare about a post-apocalyptic world where Superman takes over and he has soldiers working for him that's why they all wear the S symbol on their show on the shoulder okay now a lot of people also think that these flying things are parademons and they're like you know how could it be parademons if he's having a dream or a nightmare sequence because normally people have a nightmare about shit that they know or that they worry about, but at least that they've seen before. Which is actually a great freaking question. These are not parademons. These are soldiers that just have wings so that they can fly. It's all this has been officially confirmed. I can't remember where. But just Google it. Alright, Google it. Next photo. Now... This photo I brought up because Batman is on the floor and this is the scene where Superman basically tells him stay down if I wanted it you'd be dead already and that's the absolute truth. Sorry Batman fans but it's the absolute truth. If Superman wanted to kill Batman immediately he could have done it especially since this is the first time that they're fighting. You don't really know if he even has kryptonite on his side if he even knows Superman has a weakness at this point. It's the absolute truth. I'm sorry. Next photo. I brought this up because this is the scene where Lex is just like, bring me my new toy. Bring me the body of an alien I can experiment on and I can learn. And since I don't like Superman anyway, this is the closest that I can get to finding out Superman's biology by experimenting on somebody from his home planet. That's Lex to me. You know, Lex is like, yo, bring me my toy like come on I need to study this alien that since I can't get him I'm going to study the next alien from his home world basically my guess is because there's there's been official photos where Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor is bald so he is going to be bald by the time this movie is over my guess is he's either going to lose it some way somehow doing the experimentation because you see that kryptonite was involved or maybe he just shaves it off you know maybe he just wants to go for a different look and literally shaves his his own hair off or the third 
thought that I had is that he's going to do the same thing that Gene Hackman's Lex Luthor did in the original Superman story. And you find out that his hair is a wig. And he just rips it off. And he's really bald. So those are my three guesses. Let me hurry this up. I got, don't have much time left. Now, these next two photos, I'm bringing these up because there has been speculation that some way, somehow, the government, or maybe even just LexCorp, has gotten their hands on the Kryptonian technology that is used to create Kryptonians. Because, remember, Kryptonians were created. They weren't born. Superman was born because that's what his parents wanted to do. But, remember, there was the birthing matrix uh, Kryptonians were in the they they were built. So this is also another viewpoint of the photo. My guess is that this is how he creates the character of Doomsday, which I'm going to get into next photo. Doomsday. Now with Doomsday, the reason I wanted to bring up Doomsday is because. A lot of people have been bitching and moaning about Doomsday. He, honestly, in this photo, he doesn't look like the Doomsday that we all know. We all know he doesn't look like Doomsday. But you know who he does? Who he does look like? And this is also the speculation. Wrath from the Superman Unchained storyline. He looks more similar to Wrath in this photo. Than he does to Doomsday. And. In this photo with the heat vision. Wrath had the ability to shoot beams from his eyes. And he had more powers than Superman. If you haven't seen. If you haven't read the Superman Unchained storyline. Read it. It's like nine comic books. Read it. It's. Off the fucking chain. Okay. Their fight is off the chain. He's more powerful and he's. He's stronger than Superman in every way, shape, and form. He's more powerful, more durable, and faster. Okay? Now, that's one theory that this creature is actually Wrath from the Superman un uh, Unchained storyline. The second theory is that he's going to evolve into the Doomsday that we all know and love as the fight progresses. That maybe that this is his first form and that he has multiple forms or he's going to have a final form before the fight is over and that he's going to look like doomsday all right next photo now wonder woman blocking the heat vision that the creature shot at batman in the trailer i use this specific photo because superman is also in it and his hands are the same color as a shield which means superman also helped block the blast all right and that the heat vision was so hot that both his hands and the shield are, are scorched. Like, you see the heat. Next photo. Again, let's just take all this in and bask in the glory. The photo of the very first live action Trinity. Epic, epic, epic. Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Epic. And just a closer image of DC's Trinity. Live action for the very, very first time. History in the making. Okay? So, Night Riders, that was my breakdown of the trailer. If I missed any important factors of the trailer, let me know. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of my breakdown. Let me know if I left anything out that was important, and I'm gonna I'm going to be try I'm going to try to do some some more breakdowns, just just to try to give my channel some more elements, so to speak. Okay. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Not right as y'all already know what it is. As you comment, like, and share. But if this is your first time checking out myself or the channel, by all means hit that subscribe button, become a night rider. And join us on our journey to 5,000 subscribers. And until next time, ride or die, night riders. We out.